Surgeon Instructions, COVID in the OR. This is a short version of a longer video also available on YouTube that goes over our instructions. We have the papers stored in a cabinet in the ante room, which is a room adjacent to the OR, and the instructions are on the wall and in the table. The first thing you would do is check the battery to make sure there are five bars. You would then hook up the battery to the pack and turn it on by pressing the power button. You need to have it run its check and make sure the green light turns on. You leave it running one minute and then do a flow test making sure the ball is above the level E. If it is not, it did not pass the test. You would then do an occlusion test which also takes a little bit of time. You need to make sure all the red alarms go on, it beeps and vibrates. You then attach the hose and put the pack on having a buddy help you out. There will be people in the room to help guide you through this process. You then attach the hose to the hood. You remove it by pressing on this blue area here. You then need to put the hood on back to front without touching the inside. The hood will not cover your ears. It should be sealed around your face. You put shoe covers on even if you have designated shoes for the OR and you put a non-sterile gown even if you're going to be scrubbing later. You need to gel at this point and put on clean non-sterile gloves. There is a passageway between the two rooms. You can only open one door at a time. You must go in one person at a time, check that the door behind you is closed and open up the next door before going into the next room. At this point the staff may need your help in transferring the patient to the bed. You're not ready to scrub yet. When you are ready to scrub after helping, you're going to take off your gown and gloves at this point, leave your shoe covers and mask on, gel your hands, and put on a new set of gloves if you need to, but otherwise go to scrub your hands. When the case is over, after you've talked to anesthesia, to make sure that you can leave the room and the patient is safe and stable, you remove your shoe covers, gown and gloves that you would have on in the OR, gel your hands, and put on a set of gloves now so that you can go and clean your papper and hood. This is after the patient is stabilized. You do not go into the ante room. You go over to this clean area counter. The instructions are on the counter here. There will not be someone to guide you or buddy you through this process. You have to take it seriously because you must clean this. No one else will clean it for you. The next person using it depends on you. That's why you're wearing gloves. You need to wipe down the entire hood inside and out with a bleach wipe. Inside and out thoroughly all the cracks and crevices, then hang it up so it's not touching the counter. You then will grab another wipe and wipe down the entire PAPR unit with the hose and the battery pack and the power pack and the waste belt. You want to make sure it doesn't touch the ground or counter in the meantime because you have to wipe down the counter completely with the bleach wipe again and then set down the papper. You're then going to remove your gloves and wash your hands. Once you've done this, you can take the power pack carefully and the hood and go back into the ante room at this point. You're then going to hang the hood on the wall. You're going to put away the pack and the battery and make sure you recharge the battery, which can last about eight hours of functioning. And that's the complete process from start to finish in a quick version. There is the longer video. Here are some instructions that we've used to help as well. Remember, there is going to be a limited amount of people in the room, an anesthesiologist, a circulator, a tech, the surgeon, and one assistant. So you have to play your part. You need to be patient. Please cooperate with the rest of the team. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching this video. Please refer to the long version of the video for the full and more thorough explanation of these processes.